It drives me crazy that I'm reading his draft profile. And it's like, well, can he defend the three? He's like, man, but I'm seven foot four. I got to defend threes. He's playing winning basketball. They're, what, 35 and four? He scored 40 points. He's the reigning national player of the year. He can't get to the next level and play NBA basketball. And timing is everything. 10, 15 years ago, Zach would be the number one player pick. If I were a team, I'd look at him as a second rounder. I'd, uh, he'd be on a roster. And he'll be a guy that sees a few minutes, but he's not going to be a regular player in the NBA, in my view. If Zach Eady is not a, like a lottery pick and, you know, a, a tremendous NBA player, then there's something wrong with the NBA. Is he going to be as great as Nikola Jokic? Almost certainly not. But that doesn't mean there's not a place for him up there. I just think that if you're in the NBA and you can't figure out a way to use this guy, like maybe you're not thinking enough. Boney now just recently said he could be a late lottery pick, yeah. which seems high for me. There has not been a player like this since Ralph Sampson, Patrick Ewing, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Walton. He's that good and he's that impactful in the game. With the draft not being as strong, yes. I think he'll get an opportunity to get drafted. Agree to disagree at this point. I'm not an NBA scout, obviously, but the three best players in the league right now are all bigs in the NBA. Doesn't Zach Eady have some place in the NBA? Zach Eady having just an exceptional tournament thus far, turning a lot of people into fans. He even said himself before this game, being able to rebound, being able to protect the paint, being able to score inside, having that post presence, important thing in basketball. I think you kind of saw that in this tournament. That is from the man himself. But Sam, I know you've been a massive fan of him all tournament long, and you've been saying this guy shouldn't just be some kind of first round pick. You're saying into the lottery picks here. In this year's draft, absolutely. He has some skill sets that other players haven't had. Plus, He's got some things in his repertoire that he's good at right now. And once he gets to the NBA, he's going to add. He's got all the post moves. He's got a left-hand jump hook, right-hand jump hook. He's got the counters to those moves right there. He blocks shots in the paint. I saw him early in the tournament come up on three-point shooting. Is he the greatest athlete? No. Is he going to be the joker or Jordan B? No, but they don't need him to do that. Just think of it from this standpoint. If he can protect the rim, if he can get you 12 to 15 points, 9 to 11 rebounds and block three shots on a good basketball team, that guy can anchor your center position. So when you look at him, he brings something to the table that very few people have. He's seven foot four. And, you know, some of the voices I had to laugh that were used <laughs> yeah. in that video, I'm going, who are these people? What are their <laughs> qualifications? You know, it's like... It's like church, you know, many attend, few understand. It's like, it's like, Preach, basket, right? it's like basketball. And, 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 you know, so I'm going like, you know, who are these supposed experts? That One of them was are, me. I think, no, no. I it's, hope I mean, not. It's not. And, and, uh, but to me, bottom line, is he going to play in the NBA? Of course yeah, he, yeah. Look, there's going to be a new TV deal. We're going to expand by two teams in Seattle and Vegas. That's the, the worst kept secret. So there's going to be 30 more jobs. Of course he's going to play in the NBA. But to me, it's going to come down to two things. Number one, people got to get out of their heads. Well, the whole drop coverage, okay, I understand at times in space, you know, pick, uh, pick and roll opportunities, pitch plays, handoffs, all that stuff out on the perimeter. It's a different league. I get all that. I get that. There'll be some issues defensively as a coach. And a coaching staff, schematically, you got to figure out. That's your job. Number two, by the way, try guarding that guy with both feet in the paint and see how easy it is to guard yep. him straight up. Guess what? You're going to have to send a second defender to him. You're worried about him guarding the three? Guess what? You're going to get more threes, and you're going to get more clean threes because you got a behemoth inside that's going to bring two guys to him. So there's something to be said for that. And the other thing is, are you going to get an organization, a front office that understands how to coach a big man? And are you going to get a coaching staff that knows how to coach a big man and value that as part of their roster construction? So, you know, a lot of teams don't value that. Well, I think there'll be some team out there that'll figure it out. Sam, speaking real quick, follow up here of teams that might value him, teams where he might fit. Raptors, they already kind of have a big man, but obviously Canadians would be excited to see him. Where do you think he would fit best, though? Okay, see. When I look at him, I put him at OKC. They're young. They don't need him to score 25. They got scoring, but they got a guy in Chet Holmgren that needs to play the power forward position. You put him on the floor with Chet Holmgren. Now you got 7'4 seven, and 7'3. Seven, Go try to drive to the basket. Then. And then <laughs> Chet Holmgren is skilled. So, again, you put him on the right team. And Jack said it. 
coaches. Put him with the right coaches in the right organization and watch this kid flourish. He don't have to average 30. He don't have to be the joker of Joel Embiid. 15 and 10 and three to four blocks a game and watch what happens with that team. You know, and you can talk about our great big men that we have in the league and the coaches that coach them have figured out creative ways to make it work. And, you know, they're not perfect players, but they're really, really good. And they're some of the best players on the planet. So you figure it out. Is he in that category? Respectfully, no, he's not. But he could be an impactful guy in a lot of different ways. And I think that's important. And, and to me, from a Raptors perspective, they might end up having three picks. There'll be a lot of pressure on them, that's for sure. Well, if you put them with Chet, you wouldn't have to wait another 453 years for an eclipse, by the way. You wouldn't see anything. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Get off the QEW, please. <laughs> when we get traffic, back, we'll have second half action of the national championship game. Like a rap god, rap god. All my people from the front to the back. I look like a villain out of.